Hi, welcome to Sean's RC, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm just showing you some of the Tamiya cars that I built. And, you know, if you're thinking about getting one, you know, any one of these five vehicles would be a good choice. The, the one on the turntable, the Tamiya Grasshopper, is a pretty iconic, it was one of the first Tamiyas that became really, really popular. The grasshopper, it's got a smaller motor in it and stuff. Then you've got like the black one down there, the Hornet, which is like the upgraded version of that. And then you've got the Rising Fighter here, which is like a Super Hornet almost with better suspension, but all the bones are all still the same as the as the original Hornet there. And then you've got the fun the fun boxes, eh? Like the lunchbox and the midnight pumpkin. Those things were a joy to build. Um, I, th I think that probably the monster trucks were probably actually easier than the buggies to build. The, the buggies, the, the probably the hardest part is getting the wheels in, putting the wheels in onto the uh, mags. That's probably the hardest part that you'll find. And there's all kinds of videos on YouTube saying an easy way to do it, heating it up and do this, but really there's no easy way. You've just got to persevere. I found that the like the rising fighter there, the wheels I got the wheels on that pretty quick, probably within half an hour. The grasshopper there, what an absolute nightmare to get those back wheels on. The front ones were fairly easy, but it, it literally took me about two hours, and I stayed up all night. I I wouldn't let it beat me. I had the whole car built. Um, all I had to do was stickers and get the wheels on. And oh, you think I could get them on? It was an absolute nightmare. But but that's all part of the fun of building these things and having a collection. Now, out of my collection here, um, this Rising Fighter here is the only one that I run. The rest of them are Shelf Queen, so the Rising Fighter. That's repping it for Tamiya. That's the one that I run. You see my armour in the background there. That's my bash sort of vehicle. But um, the Tamiya kits, for me, it's more about building them than actually running them, having them... I've got an RC, a dedicated RC room and just having them on display and, and actually building something and trying to get it as close to box art as you can and then, you know, feeling some pride in it. You know, I built that and it took me a few hours or a day or whatever on a rainy day. And um, I quite often I'll have a, a Tamiya kit, an unbuilt one on hand. I haven't got one at the moment, actually. I've built them all. But um, so that you just, one day you just get in a mood and you'd say, oh, I feel like building a car today. And you've got a weekend off or a bit of time off work or something, or it's a rainy day. You just think, damn, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build me a, another car. So, you know, this is my collection so far. Um... Hard to know which one would be my favourite, actually. I, I like all of them. They're all equally cool. I like the Rising Fighter because I can run it, but I probably, as far as the look of the vehicle, I probably like that less than all of the other ones. But it's grown on me, the Rising Fighter. Um, but I really like the Lunchbox and the Pumpkin. I think they're really, really cool-looking cars. The Hornet there, that's really, really iconic. That's the... the this here is the best-selling Tamiya vehicle they ever put out. And, you know, in the 1980s it came out and it's still being made. So it shows you how good they are. You can still buy them and they still get sold out in a lot of hobby shops a lot of the time. So it just shows you how good and how popular they still are. Even a lot of your, your top-line racers and that, they know what a Hornet is, you know. As soon as you, someone sees that in your collection, they know what it is, you know. It was so popular back in the 80s. Anyone from that generation knows it well. And the grasshopper is very much the same. That was like the poorer person's version of of the Hornet back then. A lot of people started with a grasshopper. The 380 motor, slow as heck. The springs, you know, the little tiny springs that would bounce everywhere. That's why they called it a hopper. But all of these three cars here are all hoppers. The, the lunchbox and the pumpkin are the same vehicle, but same chassis and everything, all the insides apart from the bodies. So they're all interchangeable. Exactly the same platform on both of those vehicles. They're, they're easy to build. I, I, if I was going to recommend a vehicle 
a first kit to build, I'd recommend a lunchbox or a midnight pumpkin. If it's your very first build, I'd probably recommend a pumpkin because they come already painted. You don't need to worry about that. The standard lunchbox doesn't, but this is the black edition, so that comes painted as well. So I'd suggest for your first vehicle to get one that's already painted so you don't need to worry about that. Your Rising Fighter there, that's another vehicle that comes painted. The Hornet is unpainted when you get it. And the Grasshopper is already painted. You just got to apply the stickers. So if I was going to recommend a first vehicle to build to get you into Tamiya and to have a really cool looking vehicle would be probably the Pumpkin or the Lunchbox. Either either, whichever one um, you like best. And for me, I couldn't decide, so I got both of them. But anyway, yeah. Absolute legends and are such a joy to build. I absolutely love these vehicles, each and every one of them. Although I don't run them, apart from the Rising Fighter, I run armors and lossies and cars that outperform them. But they're still very iconic and very, very cool to build and work on and just have in your collection. So, yeah, I'll update you when I have more vehicles in my collection. But that's my video for today. Thank you and take care and enjoy the RC hobby.